Everybody get here, ladies and gentlemen. So wait, real quick, real quick. Do you go by BG or like, what do you, what do you go by? What was what was the or what was the other or what was the other suggestion besides BG before I say yes or no? Um, <laughs> um, I Bob. I don't know. I don't I know. Pre you, I'll take I'll take you BG. Goodrich? You prefer Goodrich? No, don't call me that. I prefer BG for sure. But um, Matt, I'm across the white monitor. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. With a little dance and everything. Thank you, sir, for, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, Matt, for people that may not know who you are, um, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Okay. So uh, my name is Matt Sosa. I'm the lead singer of Across Our Water Tower. Uh, we're from Rockland County, New York, which is like right outside of New York City. Um... I think that's it. How far is that oh, from Poughkeepsie? Like an hour south. Okay, because I know a lot of people in Poughkeepsie, and I was just wondering how far that is. Uh, oh, can, can you? Oh my gosh! I'll, I'll, you know, I'm just say it. No. That's not a good area. It's a bad area. No, no. I, I got robbed in Poughkeepsie. Oh, well, that's I'm not never good. going back there. No. Yeah, stay away from Poughkeepsie for sure. Uh, Matt, can you also plug all your social media links so people know where to follow the band real quick? <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, uh, my Instagram is Matt R Sosa, like my middle initial. Uh, Twitter Matt R Sosa, uh, TikTok Matt R Sosa, Facebook Matt Sosa. Um, and then it's at R -R A T W W T, right? W -T for band, yeah, yeah. For the band, it's A T W W T band for everything. I'm pretty sure. If you type out our full name, it should come up regardless. But yeah, I'm sure this is everything. the most common question you get asked. But how did the band name come about? I'm ready for it. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Evan's here too, by the way. Here he comes. Welcome, Evan. What's up, Evan? Evan, I just got asked with the question. The question. The one that every interview asks, which I'm sure is common, but we've we got to know. What, what does the band name mean? How, we can't for, hear you, Evan. We can't hear you. I feel like it's from like a book or something. Nope, nope. I wish, I wish. I'd be super cultured if that was a. What's the backstory? Okay, so while well, he's setting up his mic, I'll let you know. So, um, I was fourteen at the time, and I was seeing this girl, and can y'all hear me? I would always, yeah, I can, we can hear you now. All right, cool. Yeah, he's asking the question. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm fourteen. I'm seeing this girl, and. Like uh, Arnold, who's currently our uh, assistant tour manager slash driver, he calls me up while I'm on the way to her house, and he's like, "Hey, uh, where you going? Trying to hang out?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, we can hang out. Like, I'm I'm actually going your way." And he's like, "Oh, where you going?" I'm like, "My shorty crib." And he's like, "Okay, well, where does she live?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm gonna be honest. I don't know her address like that. I just know that she lives like across the White Water Tower." And she, and he's like. He's like, okay, yeah, I know what that is. And I'm like, bet. And then I hung up, and I was like, you know, that sounds kind of cool. I said out loud. So then, like, uh, I told myself if I ever had a band, I would just name it Across the Water Tower. Just because I thought it sounded cool. At the time, were you experimenting with vocals, screaming in the car, screaming at home? Or was, like, the thought of being a vocalist not even in your head at the time? At the time, I was definitely experimenting, but I grew up with like really old school, strict Hispanic parents. So, like, if I were to scream in the house, like, I'd probably catch a flying sand or something. They'd be like, turn so, that shit off. Uh, yeah, Chocolate yeah. The they'd head. be like, you know, the devil or some shit in Spanish. And tell me, <laughs> you know, they'd like go off on me. And, like, they, you know, my dad, my dad thought I was in the boys for a while. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know it was very um old school you know but uh i could dig it for so sure. i used to i used to actually skip the school bus in the morning for high school and i used to just take like the two mile walk to school and just scream along the music in my headphones since i didn't have that outlet at home so that was like the only way i could do that gotcha 
Evan, now that we've got you here, sir, can you properly uh, introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now and plug anything you'd like. Yo, I'm Evan Forkang. I play guitar for Crossway Water Tower. I also do all the nerd production fun stuff on the computer to make the show happen. Um, I'm in New City, New York. I'm in the same town as Matt. We live like five minutes from each other. We're all like within 15 minutes of each other from Tops. Really convenient, when you, honestly. <laughs> when you say the nerd stuff, do you mean the actual production for the demos? The production for yeah, the... Yeah, so everything from production for demos to synth tracking to all the backing tracks for the live show, um, all the keyboards, all that fun stuff, the mixing for the show. I do all that. Okay, so it's funny you say this. So yesterday we had somebody on the show. Uh, we had uh, Castell on the show, and, and one of the questions I asked them was, "Tell me the worst gig you guys ever had." And they oh, said man. they said their backing tracks failed, second song, massive show, and they could not fix it to the point of where they couldn't continue. Do you guys have a backup plan in the event your backing tracks go down? Can you still play the set? We oh, do man. now. But it's so crazy because we've had that exact same thing happen to us. Oh on a my god! Big show. <laughs> tell, tell me, tell me what happened. Give me the details. Tell uh, me what happened. It was uh, the Attack Attack tour earlier this year. We were in Baltimore, and yes, yeah, second song of the set. Um, well, it was before the second song of the set. Uh, we were going on stage, and we we're having a bunch of issues between issues with our rig and issues with the venue's uh, equipment and uh, it was just not happening all together to the point that uh, Andrew Wetzel came on stage and he just kind of looks at the sound guy and he goes hey man because he sees like the the sea of cables all over the fucking place and he's like hey dude what's your wisdom here and I thought that was just the funniest way that you could be like bro why are you an idiot <laughs> right like, why is this not why is the show like not happening right now I love Wetzel he's the he's the greatest there was, but, uh, there was a couple of times yeah. So, My favorite uh, time that happened was we're literally going on stage. We're literally walking out and like. Our... Yo, Matt, I can't hear you. Your your mic cut off for a second. You're you're, you're much. No cut way. Off. No way. No. Now we can hear what you. What happened? Now we can hear you. Go. Oh, okay. Is it's good now? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. So, tell me if I cut out again, but. My favorite time is we're walking on stage and the backtracks just start skipping, like literally stuttering, like a broken record. It was so funny. And I'm just standing there shitting myself. I'm like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Yeah. And Evan's like <laughs> I'm like shit and like it was an issue between like <laughs> our like cable wasn't good for like from the computer or whatever system we're using and like uh the computer we're using was like some like disk drive so like the rumbling from the stage was literally making it skip <laughs> and um yeah so th that was a couple times what's what's your happened. what's your plan b now <laughs> if it happens again next show we have like a little pedal board set up that i have pretty much anything i could like need in like a backup situation like kind of ready to go like ipod backing tracks like a uh, extra guitar amp shit like that I got I, it's sitting right next to me, actually. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, before Jordan gets in here, because I know we're going to probably talk a lot of stuff with him and you guys and the shows you play together. I do want to play your guys music for sure. Tell me real quick. What was what is Reasons of Recall about, Matt, from a lyrical perspective? Oh, awesome. OK, so Reasons of Recall is about um, kind of learning to accept the things that you can't change within yourself and that like. You know, we all we all deal with like self image uh, issues. I would assume, you know, we're all emo, kind of comes with it. And uh, you know, one of the things that you kind of learn from that is that you can't really do anything about it. And uh, it's kind of one of those things where it's like learning how to cope with the things that, if you can't do anything about it, you just kind of need to move on, you know. And uh, kind of not worshiping anyone besides yourself, and like learning that like. You know, there's there's a value or there's a beauty in however you turn out, but like it, it is very much about like dealing with like self image issues. I can dig it. Wor like, to, worship worship the temple, worship the temple. Yeah, but to transcend implementing reasons of recall basically means to like move past thinking backwards. It's like it's to get to a point where you're beyond even living in the past or thinking about things. It's like it doesn't cross your mental. I got you. Let me throw you guys in here real quick too, because you're our guest of the day. Let's go at reasons. I don't think it all fit on the screen. <laughs> and Evan, you do all the recordings, the mixing, mastering, everything. 
No, not for our like final studio stuff. That's uh, all um, Chris Wiseman from Currents and Shadow Intent. But our demos and a lot of like the synth and production, like all the synth in that song, like I did at my house before we went to the studio for sure. Hell yeah, very yeah. cool. Thanks, dude. Right, now, Matt, I see you got the uh, the Minecraft stuff going on in the background. Surely you're a gamer. Toss out two, yeah. two or three of your favorite video games ever made. Ah, frick. Okay. Um, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. It's a good one. Um, wow, dude, this is a punishing question. <laughs> Man. You can only okay, pick two uh, more. Okay, uh, the Super Mario World, uh, for the Super Nintendo, and, um... They haven't played that in forever. Gosh darn, wow, this is so painful. <laughs> Man, okay, uh, Adventure Quest Worlds. Now that I've never heard of. What is the last one you said? Adventure Quest Worlds? Oh my Worlds? god. You love okay, Adventure, you. hear this out, hear me out. So I'd not have done this, Evan. The same, I've been playing the same shitty Flash MMORPG uh, for the past, like, 14 years. It's called Adventure Quest Worlds. It's a sequel to the single-player online RPG called Adventure Quest, but it's, like, an MMO. Imagine, like, bootleg 2D World of Warcraft. But it's like, it's like, so it's, like, one of the first MMOs ever. Yeah, and I'm, like, a top player in the world. People don't know that about me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, man. That boy, good. Yeah, I've put in 14 years into that game, and I don't think I'm ever going to stop playing. Hell yeah. That kind of sounds like me and Skyrim. I, I take breaks every now and then, but I've at one point I've owned Skyrim for like seven different consoles, and it just, it just, it just never ends. It just keeps going. Uh, All right. Fellas, let's say, let's say um, you're, you're going back on the road again. It seems like you guys constantly on the road by the way which is kudos uh, to you that's that's excellent is there is there a particular country that you haven't hit yet that you were kind of looking forward to more than some of the others we haven't been anywhere outside of the u.s so far so we'd like to go anywhere currently anywhere so, <laughs> my top two choices are japan because i'm a big weeb and i love like anime and video games and japanese music and all that shit and their snacks it's all great um and then I also want to go to Australia and hold a koala and box a kangaroo. Is can you legally box a kangaroo in Australia? I don't I don't think so. And I don't, I don't think I'm getting story. far with that. I don't think I'm getting far with that one. I think <laughs> Underground I think Fight Club, baby. Go, bro. They'll beat the shit out of you. Yeah, they will lay me out. I'm not <laughs> no, I'm not putting I'm not pressure at all. Underground Fight Club for sure. Um what what's a what's a second song that you would like us to play over your guys as while we're waiting? Let's do Killing Harmony. Killing Harmony, yeah. Yeah. Does it have a video bonus points? It doesn't. Uh, oh, let's no. do one with a video. White uh, Light. Yeah, White, White Light. Because the meaning to that song is super deep, actually. Did, did I type it right? Be. Killing Harmony. Okay. I said put Killing Army. Big before we before we jam it jam it was there i i really like the title of of the the album that you guys have if you died right now would they what would they remember but was there was there any like really cheesy this is the one and then you guys were like nah that that's it. not the one it was that one. <laughs> oh yeah okay so so we're sitting in this room that i'm in right now and evan is like okay so what do we what do we name the record? And we're looking at each other because we did like the majority of the writing, so we feel like we get dibs on the name. You feel me? Right. And he's looking at me, and dibs. I'm like, I'm boggling my mind. And like one thing about me is that I'm always thinking about like death. Like I'm always thinking about death. It, it lives rent free in my head all the time. And uh, one thing that I've always thought to myself is like, if I were to die literally right now, like what would they remember? I feel like that's kind of like the biggest thing that runs through my mind all the time and it, it was like the first thing to come off the tip of my tongue and evan just looks at me and he's like i fucks with it i think i said uh <laughs> that is the hardest shit i've ever heard in my entire life <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a great it, it makes you think it makes you think yeah. like you, without even hearing your music like just reading that you're like dang i wonder what people remember about me like it, it, you, it makes you talk about it so it's a clever clever title well done it, it uh, it obviously is a question, but it, yeah, it, it does pose a question that I, I feel like most people, when they be like, "Oh, what's the album title?" I say, they're like, "Whoa!" <laughs> they're, not they're, not, they're not ready to ponder their yeah. mark on the world. That's right. Well, let's jam it right now.
the wizard dude Freaking down here out. have a have a name? What's up? Did you guys name the wizard dude down here on this Felipe? On... Felipe? I love it. it. Felipe. Wizard Felipe, I love it. Oh wait, I gotta got move back a little bit. Uh, just a little back, Rosa. Way back. Right there. So just then, <laughs> he punched his mic, changed his background, wall moshing. He's a, that's a, which is very impressive. Well done. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Fellas, is there somebody in the music industry that you've wanted to collab with? It just hasn't had, uh, yes, it hasn't worked out yet, or maybe the timing for some reason. Who would you? It, it doesn't have to be a vocalist. It could be a guest solo for something. I don't know. It may so, appear on the podcast. <laughs> no, everyone knows he's coming. But uh, no, I'm, I'm saying like we want to collab with Jordan one day. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. We would, we would love to collab with Jordan. He's so incredibly talented. He's such a great guy. Um, so, person I want to collab with the most, like on the planet. Period. And there's two people. Two people. One is Matt Mahana, the lead singer of I Set My Friends on Fire. Okay. I want, I want to make music with him so bad, it's like not even funny. And then the other one is Anthony Green. Oh my God! He's a simp for Anthony Green. So am I. Drew Turner I is mean, my Drew Turner is my probably my favorite album ever created. You either don't know him or are obsessed with him. Yes, it's one or the other. But he followed me on Instagram earlier this year, and my soul left my body. My soul left my body. <laughs> He's riding that wave still. <laughs> I, I am. That, that is a dopamine high I'm never going to fall from. I've seen every single project of Anthony Green's live except the one he just announced, the LS, LS Dunes. Oh, dude. I have not so seen crazy. that, obviously, because it's brand new. Touring, but, uh, the touring. I know. I, I'm going to try to catch the one at the Troubadour. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Anthony Green is, is uh, he's something special. He's turned down being on this show twice. We went back and forth, and uh, he we he wanted to talk about Narcan, and I was like, yeah, we could totally do that. We could talk about whatever you want, and he like thought about it, and he was like, nah, I don't I don't want to do it. But we like had a little discussion about it, and I was like, bro, no, uh, totally popped, uh, bursted my bubble and everything, because I I'm a sim for Anthony Green too, so I totally get it. But um, okay. He's a little bit of a tough cookie. Yeah. It's going to be worth it, though, in the end. Uh, Absolutely. Fellas, talk about talk about Dream Car. You just got the craziest signing bonus of your life. Million dollars each per band member, and then more money coming in right away from other things, so you don't have to worry about the million going away. What's your dream car you're buying? Okay, okay, okay. So, y'all ever been out? Yep. And there's those like motherfuckers in the cars that have like three wheels and it, it looks like I knew you were gonna the, like T the T Rex? The slingshot. A T Rex? I want one of those so bad. And shit is so cool to me. Yeah, dude. The slingshot. It's are probably nuts. not practical at all, but I want one. There's are, always some like sixty five year old dude driving them who's just a loving wife. Are you talking about are you talking about this thing? Yeah. No, 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 no. Well, it looks like that. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, kind of. It's cooler. It's cooler. It's, it's like, cooler than it's that. Called a, it's called a slingshot. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Slingshot. Yeah, there's like three or four that like peruse around our area every once in a while. <laughs> oh, oh dude, that is cooler looking. Yeah. You were right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I. There you go. That's what I'm saying, yo. Yeah. Those are cool as fuck. Yeah, that is hard right there. You couldn't go like long distance traveling that you get you get slapped in the face with ten thousand bugs and flies and stuff. But <laughs> fellas, are you yeah, down to do uh, some uh, some? Can... Are you down to do some trivia with me? Let's do yes. it. Did you did you get my message about the hot sauce? So oh, I can go grab that right now. I can grab some hot sauce. Cool, grab some hot sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in anxiety. I'll throw in the music video real quick, and uh, we'll wait for yeah, you. Here. Yo, wait. I got Cholula, or I got like fucking scorpion pepper shit yo a scorpion pepper and this is why because i got i got 16 right here next to me so you grab something so are we doing not. the last dab all right i'll be right back <laughs> excellent 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 guys if you're having fun with the fellas right now please support them go on spotify hit that follow button across the white water tower they're also all over youtube smash that button 
Hey, I, we haven't we haven't brought up this gentleman's name. Your your MC on that plays guitar. Uh, yeah, Devonte. Devonte. Yep. How'd you guys meet him? Turn to Minecraft. We're all from the same area. We like uh, him and Matt live like or used to live like two minutes from each other, like a block away, literally. Wait, what and Me and Devin, how we yeah. met Devonte. He was uh, Israel, your, your older brother's like friend. Best friend. No, he still is. He's still my older brother's best friend. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what to do the trivia before we bust out the hot sauce? I need to know some more about you guys. Tell me a, a movie or TV show you've seen a hundred times. It does not have to be your favorite movie or TV show, one or the other, but just something that you've seen so many times. Or if I ask you cars. trivia, cars, cars like the Disney version of Cars. Cars, yeah, I've seen Cars so many times. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I've seen it like ten years. But <laughs> y'all wanna know? You wanna know why I've seen Cars so many times? You're gonna get stumped, okay, dude. Uh, so growing up, uh, I lived down in the south, and we uh, we didn't have any cable or nothing. I just had a DVD player, and I had one bootleg DVD of Cars. So I used to rewatch this bootleg KM in theaters recording of Cars, <laughs> like a hundred times. People walking by the screen and everything. So, <laughs> so what if I? Yeah. So it can't be Cars two. It has to be Cars one. Cars Second one. Of all, okay. <laughs> I've never even seen the other ones. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. What 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 would you have picked, bro? If if I was to ask you the same question, uh, Evan, what would you have picked between the two? Dude, Black Mirror currently, or um, are they yeah, coming out thing. with? Are they coming out with more Black Mirror? Yeah, season six is on the way. I'm pretty sure if they're not shooting it right now, it's like being written, but it's like underway. I'm like a simp for Black Mirror. I'd definitely follow up on everything they're doing at all times. My my favorite <laughs> my favorite Black Mirror is the one where you can relive any memory. Like you can like watch it and rewind. Yeah, anything you've yeah. seen with your eyes, you can like rewind yeah. and fast forward. That was that blew my mind. That one. Yeah, Black that was uh, season one. That was a great show. Uh -oh. Hell yeah. Yeah. Other, other than that, I don't know. I used to have like a like a copy of like Spaceballs that I would watch on this tiny DVD player from when I was like four till like eleven. So <laughs> Spaceballs. I used to be able to recite the entire movie. <laughs> so if I stump you guys on this one, we'll go Spaceballs the second one. So Matt, yeah. this one's mainly for you. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's In the movie uh, Cars, two times Lightning McQueen mentions his two biggest fans. What are the names of his two biggest fans? The first time happens after they approach Lightning McQueen and he declares these are in I've fact. Seen this movie in 10 years. Oh no. I feel like I know this. It rhymes. Uh, first of all, it rhymes. I, uh, I froze you guys, sorry. I just know it was like these two small little car girls, <laughs> and they would get so excited for him, they'd bust some oil, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what their names were. They were I just know one. generic what's, what's one of them? What's one of them? Oh, wait, I, no. Sally was the love interest that, yeah, that yeah, uh, like Lightning the, had. The poor shit, something like that. It's it not, wasn't um, Sally. Sally was, was the other like, one. It was like Rudy, Tootie, some some shit like that. I, I Rudy know. and Trudy? I don't know. That's a uh, great guess. That is a great guess. But bust out that hot sauce for him. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's I, okay, 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 okay. I don't got to hit can that. I, can, wait, wait. Can I, change, can I change my answer to Saw? I like the Saw <laughs> franchise. I watched it a lot. Hit your hot sauce, blah. You can't ch change it after I ask you the question. I'll do okay. hot sauce with you. I'll do the hot sauce with you. Okay, okay, which, one are you which one are you going with? Saw. I'm going with saw. No, I mean, what sauce is in your hand? Oh, this is this is a bad one. Mad Dog, something like that. Okay, so it's something, like something fairly rough. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, rough so I'll go. Dude. I'll go Japanese Dragon's Breath, and I would say it's probably the third hottest one I have out of like the 16 I have next to me. Um, this one's pretty pretty gnarly. So let's let's do a swig, and uh, we'll see if we can get either some space balls or saw question going up second. And uh, we'll jam a little more Ooh, anxiety. Jesus Christ. Matt, what kind of peppers are in yours? I don't know, bro. It's too, it's too powerful. Oh, he's hiccuping. It's not good. The hiccups The oh, hiccups no. are bad? He's got the heat hiccups. I went to this place in the mall by us, and it's an entire hot sauce store. And I looked at the lady behind the counter, and I was like, just give me the hottest shit you had. And he, she walked all the way to the left and gave me this, which is like some gator sauce death roll <laughs> bullshit. And it's so, bad? It's bad? It's bad. It's bad out here. Yeah. I got a tolerance, but it's bad out here. Whew. 
Uh, dang, you just made me forget. You made me forget the question I was going to ask, but uh, shoot, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what do you guys do when you're when you're on the road and you're just trying to just waste time? You have a day off, and besides like sightseeing and go to the mall and stuff like that, do you guys have any like weird van Holy hobbies? Fuck. <laughs> um, we play like PS4, like our last rental van. We had we, it had a PS4 in it, which was cool. So we were playing like Elden Ring and shit, like Aku Arnold, our uh, tech that we mentioned before. Uh, he's always playing Elden Ring. Um, we're always smoking mad blunts in the back of our trailer with Let's the go. tent that we have. Smoke weed uh, every day. Yeah. Um, that's about it, dude. Like, we're so busy, honestly. Like, we wake up, we're driving, we're at a gas station, we keep driving, we get to the venue, bam, we got to set up and load in already. So it's like, the downtime we have, it's like, yo, let's smoke this blunt, and then let's keep working. We got to go do more shit. <laughs> Indica, sativa, or hybrid? Indica for me, always. Unpopular answer, I, I, I apparently. I was not aware. This is apparently nah, I would, an unpopular answer. I wouldn't say that. Uh, for me personally, it kind of depends on what time of the day it is. Like, I I have this weird thing where I shoot. I probably shoot like eight or eight or nine YouTube videos like every single morning, and I yeah. I refuse to smoke indica before I start that process because I'll be like two two in and I'll just be like, oh, I don't even want to do anymore. Yeah. I just want to just chill. <laughs> so I'm, no, I I usually do that. sativas in the morning. I feel that. Yeah, most people around here are like, yo, if it ain't sour diesel, like, just get it out of my face. So, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm, I got the unpopular opinion around these parts. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. In, we're in New York, so they're, they're picky up here with that shit. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sure where Jordan is, uh, so we'll just have some fun on our own. Matt, are you doing yeah, okay, brother? He might be throwing up. He's probably throwing up. Okay, well, we don't... We do. That means that you're up next for the next question. We'll go spaceballs. Let's do it. We'll go yeah. spaceballs. Uh, I need a, I need a second to find a question. Um, yeah, yeah. Pick. Go ahead and rattle off another song that you'd like us to play of your of anything in your catalog. Let's do. Um, let's do rewind. Why did you pick rewind? Rewind um, is like Killing Harmony. It's about another anime uh, that that Matt uh, used to watch. I think it's called Erased. Uh, Killing Harmony is about this anime called Dan Rampa, but um, it's a really heavy song. Uh, I really like it. Uh, we're going to start playing it on our next tours, hopefully soon. But um, I know whenever he comes back, he can definitely speak on the lyrical content about it. Uh, oh, I think he's back. <laughs> Matt, how you doing, bro? You good? He said no. bad. He said bad. <laughs> Rewind. We'll give you another minute or two, no worries. All right, we're gonna attempt to uh, to stump you one second time. Yeah. So this one is about space balls. Here we go. In space balls, what kind of jam did Barf use to jam the radar? Oh my fucking god! Um, was it grape or raspberry? Fuck. Which I want to say I'm gonna go grape. You sure you don't want to change your answer? Nah, great. My friend. Oh yeah, I'm wrong. It was raspberry. Fuck! I gave uh, you the option to change it. It was raspberry. Dark yeah. Helmet hates raspberry. Yeah. That was All the one. The no worries. Had you gotten it right, we would have spun this wheel. Oh, I'm just gonna get f anyway. Oh no, I'm not. So we'll plug your guys's merch. Where yeah. can where can we buy your guys's yeah. merch? Uh, all right, so you can find our merch at atwwt.com. Um, there's a little link when you click the website that'll bring you to our vinyl CDs and clothing T-shirts. Do I look like I've been through some shit? You've been through hell and back, Because I've been through some shit right now, man. <laughs> I didn't realize, but this is supposedly like the hottest hot sauce you can get. Yeah, you live in with Miles. He has no tolerance oh for this God. shit. Oh, my God. If our bass player was here, he would drink that entire bottle, not bad an eye. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, so yeah. you're back. You recovered a little bit, but still, this still feels like daggers hitting your tongue. Dude, I'm still fucked from that. I hit. can't feel my upper lip. <laughs> yeah, when it, it hits your lip and just burns it off instantly. Not good. Fellas, what do you have uh, lined up the rest of 2022 that you're allowed to tell us about? 
Sometimes there's stuff that you can't tell everybody. I get it. What can? What are you allowed to tell us? Matt, can you speak? Uh, okay, so yeah, I can speak. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. So we have a few dates with Attack Attack coming up next month. Uh, the quest for the Golden Crab. It's like um, routing dates for their tour with uh, Eskimo. I mean, Electric Cowboy. My bad. Um, electric. Electric Cowboy. And um, after that, we have When We Were Hungry Festival. And I think that's it. We're doing one extra show with Attack Attack in Brooklyn on November 6th as well. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. And, it, yeah, there's other stuff in the works. If you guys ever get a chance to talk to Andrew, tell him tell him that we would love to, to chit-chat with him as well on the we show. We will let them know. I don't know which Andrew you're referring to. Wetzel. 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 Or Whiting, but we will talk to both of them. And I would say, and, and I would say your up. luck of talking to either of them is higher with Whiting. Whiting well, it is then. But yeah, if, if you guys are willing to come back uh, and, and it's set up, you can, you're more than welcome to be my co-host for that for that day if you'd like. Oh, yeah. If you'd like. If it's you know possible. Cool. Hell yeah. Um, I, well, fellas, we're almost out of time. I apologize. I don't know what happened with Jordan. You're welcome to stick around for a little bit after and chat, but I do want to ask you a serious question. Um, yeah. And I ask every guest this final question. Um, that we have on the show. What is a piece of musical advice that you can that you can share with us that somebody in the industry maybe was like, hey, you, you know, you gotta you gotta know this, know this, and it was kind of like an eye opener for you, or a terrible mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want any starting up band to make. Uh, There's, fuck. <laughs> don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Hi yeah. right, guys, so that hot sauce is actually burning me. I really gotta go. I'm so sorry. It was, this was great. I'm literally dying. I gotta go. We love you, Matt. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there's anything I could add to that, um, there's okay. So there's one thing that every band that we've toured with this year, or like the main person in every band that we've toured with this year, has told me um as a piece of advice not that it's something i do wrong that i needed the advice for but just a general piece of advice uh that anybody could take um you'll get a long way in this industry if you follow this number one rule and they all do the hashtag number one rule don't be a dick yes. literally just don't be a fucking dick if you're a cool person and you are easy to get along with uh you'll be doing great things uh, Chad yeah. is actually asking if you can stick around a little bit longer, Evan. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. I'm not doing anything. Can we can we take in some phone in questions? Are you sure. are you willing? So so if you're watching right now, go on Instagram at local band smoke out. Hit the follow button and then hit the contact button. I'll open my phone right now. Call in right now through Instagram. You will not be on video. You'll do, Evan will only be able to hear your voice. I'll put the phone up just like this. If you have a question that you'd like to ask Evan, we'll go ahead and play it. In the meantime, I want to play White Light. Can you tell me about White Light? Yeah, that was the uh, the first song we wrote for the record. Um, I had went through this really weird period of my life from like November of 2019 to like January of 2020, where I was like in a really like dark place, and I was doing a lot of like like honestly, I was doing a lot of acid, and it just wasn't good. And um, I wrote like 40 to 50 songs that like just got scrapped. And White Light was the first, like the riff in White Light, the turn, 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 which you'll hear, um, the verse riff was like the first thing I wrote that like ended up being on the record after I like got out of this weird period of my life. And um, I remember Steven looking at me like, dude, what the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> like we have to use that shit. And um, yeah, it ended up being a really it. personal song for me. So uh, I'm proud of that one. The video's dope. Hell yeah, 40, 50 songs, a lot of songs. Yeah, um, they, they, none of those got used at all. I was actually literally right before I got on this going through some of those files that I haven't seen in almost like two years. <laughs> this I, I've got Will, Will Shoemaker on the phone. He wants to ask a question to you, Evan. Will, you're Yo, live. Up, Will? Go ahead and knock it out. Hey, Evan, it's Will. Um... Hey, dude. He, he can hear you. He can hear you. He, I don't. You can't hear him because it's a delay, but he can hear you, Will. Just wondering. I was going to ask Matt this question. What's the question? Uh, so I did pictures for you guys at Starcade. Yeah. 
And I was wondering, did Steven go through the photos yet? Um, I'm not sure. I'll check in with him on that. Um, we've just had so much content from these last few tours um, between our like personal photographer that we brought out and just other people shooting for us. But I'll definitely make sure it gets looked at and we'll post some of them if uh, when, when we see it. Hell yeah. Will, do you have one more question, Will? I do. Go ahead and knock it out. How stoked are you guys for uh, when we were hungry and what bands are you looking forward to the most? Oh, thanks, bro. Um, I'm personally excited for Escala Drive. Like, when we played thanks, with Will. them at that show that uh, he mentioned, uh, Starcade, which was in New Jersey, um, they were just some of the most, like, approachable and humble people that we've ever played with. And um, so, yeah, Escala Drive. Um, I set to kill. I'm really stoked for Alessana. I'm always excited to see. They always put on a great show. Um, and dude, honestly, Black Flag. Like, I didn't expect them to be the headliner, but that's fucking sick. Like, they're definitely one of my favorite punk bands. So, I'm that's, pretty. Is that that's Henry Rollins? It's it was his band. He's not. He hasn't been in the band for a while. But that 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 was his band back in the day. Yeah. That is cool. That is cool yeah, for sure. So that would be cool. And is Hungry? Officially doesn't have anything to do with Denny's, even though it kind of started, I think, going the Denny's route. But Denny's ended up saying no to the sponsorship. Yeah, I remember uh, at one point in time, it was initially booked in a Denny's parking lot. And then it became too big of a thing or something happened with the sponsorship that it needed to be put in a proper venue. <laughs> they're like, wait, we're actually like, it like, cause it started as a complete meme. And they're like, wait, there's like actual bands that are playing this. We need like a, a fucking real venue now. Holy shit. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I was supposed to go. I'd never ended up buying tickets, but I was supposed to go. And uh, my wife's sister's wedding is the following weekend. And she was like, you cannot go the weekend yeah. before. And then something's going to happen. Like she's just terrified of me going to Get a concert. Or off. Anything like just punched in the yeah. face during the mosh pit or something. I don't know. But uh, I do know that my good buddy Tom Keeley of Patient 67 from Australia is flying is really in to no attend way. the show as a fan, possibly wow. jump on stage with somebody. So if you see him, tell my boy Tom. I said, what's up? Will um, do. That's really cool. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, that fan's dope. Evan, what do you got going on the rest of the day? Um, I was probably going to go smoke after this, <laughs> honestly. Um, I've been working on a lot of like mixing uh, while I'm home from tour, like producing different artists and stuff. So I'll probably just do some of that stuff. Um, yeah, I've kind of just been hanging out all day. My, my, so the, our water towers manager, uh, his like booking agency also runs an emo night. So I'm also prepping uh, to go fly out for a few shows for that on Friday. Um, if anyone's in Akron, Detroit, or Cleveland, I'll be there on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So come say hey uh, right. for emo night. Uh, so I'm also prepping for that right now. So that's what I'm up to. Final real question. Chat wants to know how the tour was with Dark Divine and Famous Last Words. Dude, fucking, that was our most successful tour to date, easily. No question about it. Between the shows and just getting along with everybody, I, I was so just stoked on how everything happened. Um, it was like the first tour, that and the I Set My Friends on Fire tour over the summer were the first tours that we had this new setup, this new like live rig that uh, all those issues we, we began the podcast talking about, like with the Attack Deck tour, as far as our gear goes, like are no more. We, uh, we invested in a whole new setup that I'm, I'm manning, and uh, we were super happy with how everything worked out. Um, the shows were great. Meeting everybody was great. Famous Last Words specifically is some of the tightest musicians I've ever seen play, so that was an honor getting to play with them. And Dark Divine is definitely the most promising up-and-coming band I've ever seen on a like national level. Like for the for their first tour, it was their first tour. Their first show was the first show of the tour in Orlando and they fucking killed it. They were amazing. So props to them. Shout out all them boys. I love all those guys so much. I really miss them. Oh, it was yeah. a great tour. Well, Evan, I appreciate you, man. Go check out Matt. Make sure he's alive. He's okay. Yeah, but uh, this was a lot of fun, brother. I'll, I'll throw this up on YouTube later today. But uh, dude, you're awesome, man. You're welcome back anytime, and I dude, appreciate you. Thank you so much for having Hopefully, us. we can do I've... we can set up the the co-host thing with uh with uh Whitting. Yeah, we'll talk to them. We'll talk to a bunch of other people we go out with, and we'll try to get some stuff set up for sure. We really appreciate you doing this for us. We we're really glad to be here. Oh, it's Thanks my pleasure. Us, you guys rule. Seriously. So I'm happy. I'm happy to do it, man. Thanks, man. Evan of Across the White Water Time. Yeah, hell yeah. Cheers, sir.